Hi, I'm Meg and I have anxiety. <laughs> so in today's video, as you'll be able to tell by the title, we are going to talk about anxiety. I have suffered with it for a few years, but I am finally sort of learning how to get through it and learning how to deal with it and I want to tell you about it and my experience with it. So yeah, if you want to hear about it, stay tuned. So I've basically got a variety of questions, whether they are off the internet, I've asked my partner if there's any questions he wants answering and I also put it on my Instagram. So yeah, I have a few different questions to answer for you. I like Google's definition, anxiety is worrying, nervousness and unease, which to be fair, I think is very true. It's very hard to set a definition for anxiety because it is different for everyone. Everyone has different experiences with it. So I think it is pretty hard to do one definition for how thousands and millions of people feel every day suffering with anxiety. So anxiety affects me in so many different ways. I have done therapy and for me therapy helped a lot. That was the route I decided to go down. I didn't go down the medication route or anything like that but I know that that has helped multiple people that I know. I just decided that I wanted to do therapy instead of doing the medication thing. So when doing my therapy, I found it really useful because I'm such a visual learner to make a list slash mind map of all the different things that affect me and how others and myself can deal with those situations. So if you're a visual learner like me, honestly, this is so useful. I really enjoyed doing it as well. So we started from level one to level three, level one being things that affect me the least and level three being things that affect me the most. A lot of the time I'll find that things in level one can build up to level three. Level three can be like pure panic attacks, like pure panic attack mode, that's what I'll call it. So yeah, in general, level one is things for me like phone calls. Sometimes I honestly can't even ring the Chinese. I don't know why. <laughs> I honestly just get scared. I know it's Chinese, it's silly, but yeah, it's just part of my anxiety. My heart will start beating really fast. And then when I'm in the middle of it, I'd be fine. But I'll need that initial push to just take the leap and go for it. I also don't like crowds. I think if I get myself out of that situation initially of being in a crowd, then it won't go any further. But if I'm not taken out of that situation, then it will move up to level two. So yeah, level two can also be to do with groups of people and crowds and stuff like that. I just don't feel comfortable sometimes. I like being in big open spaces. And also on level two for me is going to work. This is such a simple thing for so many people, an everyday thing. But in the last few months, I have quit two jobs. I think it's actually three. That's really, really bad. But I can't with my anxiety. Honestly, I just... I don't feel comfortable, which is just a massive thing for me. I have to feel comfortable. I'm sorry if you can hear my cat. She's playing with her toys in the background, but nothing I can do about that. She is a rebel. But yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. I think once I'm in a good situation, I am with work at the minute, which is good. I am okay. My anxiety is at an all-time low at the minute. I'm absolutely fine like I'm quite on top of the world at the moment I feel pretty good which is why I wanted to do a video about it so yeah it's like work is just a touchy subject for me it's quite difficult I as I said I'm very open about my anxiety but people haven't been particularly fantastic towards me with it so that's how I've gotten these bad situations and then level three for me is almost like a mixture of all the things in level two. And that's when I will start to overthink things and it will gradually just fill and fill and fill my head. And as I said, that's when I'm in panic attack mode, which is like the worst thing possible. Once I'm in that, I physically cannot get out of it. I'm the worst 
type of me <laughs> when I'm in that headspace is horrible. Honestly, horrible. Honestly, the worst like I felt is from a situation a while ago, but it makes me not want to leave the house and it makes me not want to eat and obviously that starts to affect a lot of other things not just my mental health but then physical because once i'm not eating i feel sluggish i feel tired all the time i'm not getting what i need in protein like anything like that daisy <laughs> i'm not getting what i need in general so yeah it's not great and that's definitely like the lowest i've ever felt it's not very nice so as i've sort of said earlier it is a state of pure panic you get yourself into a headspace where you honestly just feel stuck that's how i personally feel i feel stuck i don't feel like i can go anywhere like the situation's not going to be resolved and it's very hard to change like your mind's opinion on that you could think why am i getting worked up about this why am i getting upset about this why am i worrying about this but it just doesn't go away and it's hard to listen to other people trying to tell you not to think about it as well because you're thinking the complete opposite and that's not going to change i really like sticking by the thing of if you're not going to worry about it in a few years time then what's the point in worrying about it now there actually is no point like it's difficult to say that when you're not in the situation of course it is but there's no point in worrying about things if even you're not going to be worried about it in a week's time i'm sure for me making a phone call to the chinese would not be bothering me in a week's time because i probably would have forgotten about it then but it's still something that affects me which is really strange but i'm trying not to let it <laughs> And honestly, the best thing my friends and family and partner can do for me is just listen. I am a talker. I find it so, like, much better and relieving to just talk to someone about it. And, yeah, that honestly just helps me a lot. And even sometimes I just need a hug. I just need reassurance and that makes me feel so much better. And just to talk about something else if you're in that mind space where everything's going wrong and you're not having the best of days and you wake up sometimes even just feeling anxious for no reason like you need to do stuff get out of the house like get them out of the house make them do something don't force them but maybe just make plans and be like oh we're going out for lunch today and just try and get them out of the rut of anxiety so yeah, anyone can have anxiety. Mine came on, well, I sort of realized that I have it over the last few years. For ages, I did not realize what my panic attacks were. I hadn't been around anyone who had really had panic attacks. And yeah, I just had no idea. I just thought stress and worrying that I had sort of always had and that had sort of always been there was just that sit stress and worry and now i look at it it was anxiety anyone can have it literally anyone telling how people have anxiety i think people have different traits on how they show their anxiety so for me i tend to sit and play with my hands when i'm feeling anxious i also shake my knees it's really weird as well a lot of the things i've read online like the things that i do are things that other people do but i'll usually get sweaty hands but my hands are cold which is like really really strange it makes no sense but it's just what happens i yeah if you're unsure on if maybe your friend has it or if a family member has it and you maybe want to reassure them a bit and tell them it's okay and that this is probably what it is google it like google the symptoms google what people show when they are feeling anxious how they portray it and yeah hopefully you can help someone out by doing that and honestly talk about it that is such a big thing for me is talking i find it 
so much better and such more and a really good mind dump when I just talk to my mum and my partner. It honestly just helps me so, so much. I always feel so much better after I've had a long conversation with them, just letting out what has been stuffed up in my brain for ages. Just about anything, even if it's small and you don't think it really means or matters. Like, just let it out. Just let it out. Also, find stuff you love doing. For me, like stuff like drawing, I love so much. It really, really helps me. I honestly sit for hours and hours drawing and I don't think about anything else while I'm doing it. That is all that's on my mind. If you like doing makeup, if you like doing hair, go outside, get fresh air, don't go on social media, just have a detox and just live. Like, don't think about it, just don't. <laughs> But that is it for this video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. I hope maybe if you've got anxiety, you learnt something. Or if you haven't, again, you learnt something. Anxiety is a massive thing. It's everywhere. We're lucky enough to live in the generation where it's more spoken about now. It's everywhere. A lot of people speak about it. So, yeah, it's good. My DMs are always open on Instagram. This is my handle if you are interested. I'm always up for chats. I love having conversations with people and talking to new people. So if you need anything, I'm there to talk to. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.